Hello! So, we've not had a video from me recently, so I thought I'd give you an update on what we're up to this weekend. As you all know, we've got some quite big ponds at the farm, so this weekend we're going to be dredging them out. So we're just driving the diggers, ready for them to be put in place, ready for their work on Saturday. Um, we're going to start with the ponds near the house. And we've just destroyed the lawn. Morning everyone, so it's about half past eight and the boys are already outside and they have been for about an hour now so I'm going to go and see what they've been up to. So this is the hole they've already dug this morning, you can see the diggers just filling up the dumper at the minute. Um, hopefully they're just going to empty all the ponds and it'll be really easy. So I'm sneaking off this morning, I've got to go out to guides. But the best bit is, James brought us cake. We're about halfway through the day now and we've cleared about 60 tonnes of Hello, so it's about lunchtime now. I've just come back from guides and I have come home to a bit of a pond. So when we left, this was about what they'd done and they've now done all of that bit and behind the tree, as you can see. So this is the silt that they've pulled out of this hole so far and then we're having to cut the trees down as we go. So as you can see, we've got the trees around us. I'm sat on top of the dumper and Brad is just filling it with the wettest sill ever. It is disgusting and it smells. So as you can see we're all looking a little bit muddy and Brad is trying to get us all wet with the sill that's coming out of the dumper. where we've been dumping we've been dumping just here all of this and all of this is silt you can see here and here is where we have just got very very stuck the boys are on the other side of the bank now um so they're clearing out the other side so that we can get water running the whole way through you can see that it's started to fill up already today i'm on fire duty as you can see um we're using a bin because it keeps it contained and we're still surrounded by trees the little friend of ours from next door he's a lovely little stalk but he's a bit nosy so Brad's currently trying to drive over the bridge that we have broken uh, without sliding into this pond here. But he's made it! I, I thought I'd quickly show you um, that we've been destroying the lawn a bit. So we've been using the silt to uh, resurrect the ground really. So the result of day one slash the start of day two is we need a bigger digger. We have this lovely little bit in the middle. A bit like an island. I think we'll probably keep it for a little while until we get a bigger digger. All of this we're going to hopefully act as a bridge that we can cross over the ponds um, but we're just hoping that it all stays together once we pull the rest of the silt out from under. So we're now on the mammoth task of cleaning the trailer. Um, I'm not going to do a lot if I'm honest. It's a bit dirty. This is not as fun as you might think it is. So the wheels are disgusting, the tracks are disgusting, the cows are disgusting. And now it is the turn of the dumper. Super team are at it again, fresh washing and a brush to get the bucket clean. It is going to take us a while. We're all done for today and you can see that cleaning the digger actually made us all quite dirty. It's in my hair, it's on my face, it's all over my clothes, it's down my arms. And then like, I'll just show you my legs. 